Hello everyone and welcome back to Academia School Simulator. I'm Obi Van Dam and uh, in today's episode we are going to hopefully finish this current school year. Um, because as you can see in the top corner, top left, middle, section, whatever, we currently have a negative cash flow. Um, so yeah, we are basically just losing money. And um, I'm not sure if there is much we can do at the moment besides... Um, taking another loan or yeah just wait uh, what are the other things called uh, the grants where are the grants achievements mm -hmm. oh I completely forgot where you can get the where you can get the grants what school year ah on the yes on the to-do list over here so there are still some grants to do, um, which more or less need us to build more rooms. And um, we already discovered in the last episode or the episode before that, yeah, building a, or getting a complete new, new building up and running um, is way too expensive. So I think most of this cannot be done at the moment. Uh, so what I would like to do is um, just finish this this school year real quick and then see if we can get more pupils in or more students in in the next yeah in the next school year and also i think um with the cash flow and the current amount of students we have and we can support i'm not sure if we can actually make real money just by the, getting the students so i think for at least the next school year and maybe the year after that we need to use the money we get from the students just to pay off a loan and maybe we can get so the issue is we still need to pay a lot for this loan so maybe what we should do we are just two days left so we can use at least five thousand of our current cash and pay it back yeah funds are running low but now the interesting the interest rate is um way lower so yeah the negative cash flow isn't too bad any longer so this is fine um okay whoa 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 there's a lot of stuff going on students going to detention okay so and also um i would like to to do a little announcement while the game is running and the school year is finishing the there was just I think a few days back there was the announcement that Academia School Simulator will leave early access and go to 1.0 in the next year. Uh, there's a link to the announcement trailer in the in the description below if you want to check that out. I'm really excited and I hope that um, well maybe we will continue this series on 1.0 that de really depends if the safe games are compatible. Um, maybe we will sell the school and start over or if safe game is not compatible we have to start from scratch but this would also not be too bad um okay so we are now on the last day of the current school year um also what i would like you to do is um if you want to see more of a specific game you can check my channel i'm currently playing uh, i think three games at the same time academia school simulator we are playing space haven and um, mars horizon and before I continue, let's check the random event real quick. Uh, let's see. A salesman offers to sell a new set of documentaries from Discovering Channel. From the Discovering Channel? Ah, I know where this is coming from. Um, but we can pay that. So history is in the past and the past can change. Oh no. Oh no. This would be amazing. So I sold... Well, I, I paid back the loan one day too early. Ah. So we will lose 20 prestige. Okay, we were lucky. We did not lose any prestige. Okay, so um, if you want to see more of a specific game, just leave a like on the videos. I usually um, play more of the games on camera if the video is liked by you guys and girls, if there are any. Um, and also, if you would like to chat 
about certain games or recommend certain games, I also have a Discord channel up. It's currently not too populated, so um, I have time to, to answer every single question at the moment. Uh, so um, the link's also down in the description um, if you want to check it out. We also do occasional polls over there regarding the games we play on the Monday stream. Um, so yeah, if you want to get in contact, just go to the Discord, it's the best location, or just leave a comment in the in the video Discord, below the videos. I always appreciate that. Okay, so back to the game. We are in the fifth period. Um, let's see. That looks pretty good overall. I'm not sure if we need 100 at the end of the school year for the for the students to pass so <laughs> really the worst part is that we started to do to be a science college and the science subject is the worst we currently have that's really depressing so what's up with the science teacher um Big increase in energy. You are at 32. Can we... Let's see. Can we train the teachers? Uh, let's see. Oh, this is the same. There was the option to, to do training for teachers right hmm maybe we need to research that let's see school design teacher training okay yeah so we have to research that we don't have the money to do this yet but we will later Okay, so I think science in the sophomore class is bad and all the other things are more or less okay. Also, the motivation is, in, is fine in total. They need a bathroom break and they need something to eat. But that's okay. Um, school is over, so they should go home <laughs> and do just that. And I really excited for the next school year. I've never had a school year transition. Ooh, final exams. Oh, -ho. we moved up to LG League. Keep up the good work and try keep going higher. Okay. We went up in school ranking. We are at 790 of 1000. Wow, okay. You have a rival school in town that everyone hates. See if you can beat your rival school in the rankings and show them who the best school is. Oh, so there's... Ooh. There's a lot of stuff going on. Okay, so let's check this, this school re results real quick. Um, we have a passing rate of... Well, we get a great A, so I think passing is pretty good. Um, we get lots of prestige for the graduate pedigree. So our students passed and they are pretty good at everything. I like that. Oh, everyone passed. Nice. That's pretty good. Um... We have a little bit of an issue with delinquency and the cleanliness is the amount of dirt in your school, great F. Well, that sucks. Okay, so we definitely need more, um, uh, what's it called? We need more workers to, to clean the school. Um, timeline, everyone passed, funds, population, not sure if we need that. Exam results, A, 100%.
Nice, so everyone passed its school year. Very good. Very good. Okay, you are in the build phase. At the start of every school year, you are given some time to plan and build your school where the students are not in class. Okay, when you are ready to begin, click on the start school year button. Okay, and we got some achievements. Let's move a little bit slower. So the rival school rank is 640 in but we ranked up to 700, so this is definitely wrong. Okay, let's see. How many students... Ooh. Oh, what? So we have 15 returning uh, for the senior... For, for all the class... Yeah, of course. Those are the 15 students we had the year before. Okay, wow, we have lots of students to get. This is amazing, so we can really increase the size of the school. So I guess what we need is uh, more tables, right? Uh, let's go to... Oh, uh, what is it called? Student chair? Yes. So I guess we can increase... We can increase the um, capacity of each school or each classroom to 24. Okay, also we need to repair some of this stuff. Please repair that. <laughs> He's showing a, a movie to no one. Amazing. Um, Okay, so the capacity is increased. We now can... Yeah, we can get 24. Oh, not everyone. So yeah, let's go to 24 on each. And let's see how the money will look like then. And then 24 freshmen. Wow. This is nice. We will get lots of money. Maybe it would make sense to actually add an additional classroom just for the freshmen. So if we have 24 seat rooms, we would get... Um, we would need two additional classrooms just for freshmen. Um, I don't think that this is possible. I'm not even sure if we can build a single additional classroom. And also I'm not sure if we want to increase the size of the the current building um, this already cramped so maybe for the moment it just makes sense to to just go with 24 each yeah I think this is fine for the moment we can't afford more it's okay we can grow slow I don't want to overwhelm the facilities we currently have um, because, yeah, as you can see here, we do not have enough capacity in the AV room. The library is a joke. Um, so I, I'm not sure if this is actually worth it. Okay. Um, yeah, we will get around 100 students this year. So the 45 from last year plus almost 50 additional Oh, wait a second. Also, I want to have more janitors. How's the uh, stuff looking at the moment? We have three. So yeah, let's add an additional, an additional janitor. And then we are almost out of money. So let's start the school year. All right, so wow, we are now at plus 4,000? Ooh. So I guess just the, f the first school year is the one that uh, where you really have to to fight hard for the cost. This is amazing. Didn't expect that. Okay, so maybe our main concern should really be to increase the classroom capacity. Okay, so let's plan out the how we want you to go uh, to go on. What I would like to do really is um, to kind of 
mimic the school where I was in, my high school. Um, let's see, do we have blueprint? Yeah, we have. So th the high school that I was in, um, it basically had two main buildings. Um, one in the, yeah, if you look from the from the parking lot, one in the top right corner, it was pretty long and there were all the classrooms um, on, on each side of the of the long corridor. And at the at the end, someone something around um, wall outline. So let's see. I want to have some space for decoration. Two, three, four. Let's say five. So um, around here, this is where um, where the building would start. And I think I want to go down to. Uh, no, let's wait. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we can make the interior seven uh, and get rid of, get rid of this one row. So we need seven plus the outer wall. So let's see it right here. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we have a wall. This is a this would be classrooms, not not on the corner. Um, but I will explain this later. Wait a second. Uh, I think I want a wide corridor of three and then seven again wall. Okay, so this will um, this is the size of the building. That makes sense. It looks it will be quite long, but that's okay. Um, on the edge of the building, on the right side, there was the uh, I'm not sure if it's called activity hall. Let's see. Um, I think it's called auditorium. I'm not sure about the the, the English uh, vocabulary uh, because I was at a German school because I live in Germany. So um, I think it's called auditorium. It's where all the seats are and the and the stage for I don't know school musicals and stuff like that. Um, this was on the on the far right side of the building. So I would like to have it as well in here. Um, let's see. This is 7, 14 plus 5, 19. So we can make it a square. I think the, the building, the room was a square. So let's go with 19, something like that. 19 would also mean... No, let's make it 20, that's fine. We'll make it 20. Uh, erase and then we can have a double door uh, in the center right here this is nine this is nine yeah exactly like that okay perfect and then I would also like to have a single door in here on the left side and then we would have classrooms in here classrooms have also width of seven like this and like that okay let's see how many classrooms do we want to add here at least four on each side that would be something like this have a one a cap of one in here Like though, so this looks, yeah, this looks kind of like the building that I uh, that I'm used to. Um, maybe next step would be to have a corridor in the center. Um, no, it should be four wide, something like this. This is the central hallway. A oh, hallway—that's what it's called. It's not corridor; it's hallway. 
uh, door in here. No doors here. And then we could add another batch of, of classrooms to the other side. So how long does is it does it need to be for four classrooms? Uh, 33, including the wall. So this should be 32. Like this. Three. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's do it like this real quick. Two. Just like that. Okay, and then we can can do the door. Like that. And erase this line. Okay, so this would be the central building. I like this. Um, it's, it's a lot wider than I think it was in reality. Um, but it also had, yeah, three... Um, um, three floors and we only have one floor in the game. So I think that's fine. Um, what we need to fit in here is the toilets. Mm, so I guess, wait, let's finish this. I guess what we should do is maybe add the toilets on the outside. Um, same size as a classroom? I guess so. Something like this. Oh, that looks bad. I don't like it. Mm. Yeah, we will figure this out later. Maybe we can add them back here. Yeah, that would make sense. Um... We could add long bathrooms to the back side of the of the building. Just like that. Then have a door right here. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, so this is the building with the classrooms. Also speaking of classrooms. How's it going? <laughs> Physical education is amazing. Um, and, but it's still pretty dirty, right? Or does it count this as dirt blocks? Wait, maybe what we need... Uh, we need grass. Right here. Okay, so back to the planning, um, or actually <laughs> back to ending this episode, uh, because we are completely out of time. So uh, just real quick, we have this main building in here that we will build, and then on the left side, overlapping a little bit, there was the building with the office for the uh, for the principal as well as all the um, natural nat nature science things, physics, chemistry, biology, um, the computer room. Library, everything was um, in a second building that would be around here. So actually same size as what we already have. And then um, at the location where we currently have our main building, there was the cafeteria and um, the gym in that general direction. And on the right side where we currently have a field, there would be the uh, running track um, with a field in the center. And all the rest was schoolyard. Um, and the specialized building and the classrooms, they were linked um, with an area that we called the glass corridor. Um, it was a bridge in the, on the first floor or on the second floor um, connecting both buildings and it was completely in glass. And this were 
Um, this was more or less the common area for the students to hang out. Um, it had an amazing look and um, yeah, seats were pretty limited, so um, you have to be you had to be lucky to get a seat in the glass room or in the, the glass corridor. But I would like to mimic something like that over here. Um, but we have to do this in the next episode. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.